Hi, welcome to the sneak preview of uh, Arconix B. And this is Budgie we're going to try out. You see it's already ready to launch. And while we launch, we'll take a look at the website that's completely renewed. So take a look at all of them because we have now three main parts, three blocks that are uh, we'll, we'll spend our attention or our energy in. We have the Arclinix ISO, we have the Arclinix D ISO, and the Arclinix B ISO. So we're talking about the B in this time. This is a ISO that's built yourself. So you can make um, your own Arclinix version. And it's all in here in phase four, it's part of phase four. And you can choose to build our own Arclinix with Openbox XFC i3, or you decide to have one desktop. You see, Pudgy, BSP, etc. So you can choose and work with that. So let's log in and he'll recognize instantly that he can be, become a little bit bigger. And here we are, we are uh, now inside this budget system. This budget system I have logged in, um, but actually we should log out again. Uh, just to show you that log out, that is probably um, well strange maybe for a beginner to see all these GNOME stuff in here. So Budgie and GNOME they go hand in hand and you just try to install a Budgie without a GNOME it's it's not it's not uh, not done you know. So just so you know that this is a normal. And then you go inside this Budgie. And we have this button up here, we can change these elements as well. And here's the menu, the budgie menu. And yeah, looks like any other menu on other um, environments, but we have something special, it's the Raven panel. And the Raven panel has some elements you can change in here. And also here, down here, we have an element. So they changed a little bit their, their budgie settings around, but here it is, Arc, Arc Dark, Sardimona Colora, Be Snow, Dark mm -hmm. Theme. We can change the built-in theme, so it looks different. Okay, some animations, the fonts we can change, the size we can change, the windows, the button layout. The top panel, this is interesting part. So the menu label here says show menu label. Okay, so... We are actually working on Arco Linux B and this is Budgie. We can change the icon, so the start here symbolic is uh, way, <laughs> way, okay, let's quickly do it. Way down here, user share, and then icons. I told you it was far away. In the Sardi icons we have a scalable, we have places and you can knock yourself out because we have here lots of things, you should check it out in a file manager. So start here, abstract 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, Arch Merge, things from the past, Arch Linux, red or an orange one, let's take an orange one, set icon. So now we have this icon up here. And lots of other things you can configure as well. Compact mode, which is interesting as well, maybe. Um, another look that you can have. And the show headers. Rollover mouse is also an interesting option, I believe. Like so. And other things. All right, so this is the panel. Auto start goes in here. If you don't want variety to auto start, get rid of it. <sighs> Sorry. So that's all the Raven plank notifications outputs. You can change your elements as you see in and out. Open, lock everything, and then lock on back in. Variety, let's change the wallpaper. Why not? And we have here PAMAC running, and we can always check hey. What are we actually using from the repo? So not so much, a lot of white things. White means not installed. So we've selected already all the packages that you need for each uh, distro, each desktop you have. Some other elements, okay? So basically this is your sneak preview. And uh, if you like what you see, download it at 
Let's see if we can find a hello. No, Arco Linux, we can't, it's not there. So we need to go to Firefox. Where do you land? Download it, that's the last thing I'll say. Well, you go, you Google Arco Linux, download. And then, well, let's see if we can do this. So there's the info, and it says here we have the Arco Linux and Arco Linux D. And for all the Arco Linux B ISOs, that's what we're talking about. You need to go here to the files, you accept. Let's click on here and see that XFC is still at the, in the lead with one ISO and then Plasma is in second place. So here you download it. The ISO has been created. You built, well, you can, the idea is to build the ISO. That's why the B, what the B stands for. But if you say, oh, I'm gonna download it and put it in VirtualBox and test it out, that this is as good. All right, cheers.